Okay, hello, sir. my name is William. Okay, today I want to show you, this video is called, it's basically about speaking with tongues, but I want to talk about, I want to talk about those first. So, yeah, I want to talk to you about something. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. You know, it's probably after Valentine's Day, but I hope you had a great Valentine's Day anyway. I just gave a, I gave flowers to my mom, and I gave my dad a shirt for Valentine's Day, but that's it. So, I hope you, that's, so I celebrate Valentine's Day. Just that because my family's celebrated. it. I know my family does not celebrate Chinese New Year, but it's probably because that's it's not because of America, it's because well my family doesn't celebrate it, that's why. Yeah, I know. It's just because my because my because my because my relatives are mostly European American. That's why. European and American. Yeah, I know that's why. I know, not Asian. That's why, you know, that's why I don't celebrate the Asian holidays like Chinese New Year. But I might celebrate in the future. You may never know. Cause... But I will probably will hope that I can celebrate in the future when I get older. Okay, that'll be great anyway. Anyway. So if you celebrate Chinese New Year, I'll just say I'll, I'll just say that's great, and, I'll, and I hope you had a great Chinese New Year if you, did, if you did celebrate it. If you don't, that's okay. I know, but I do celebrate Valentine's Day, so that's a good thing anyway. Do you celebrate President's Day? No, I don't. <laughs> and I don't think any of our presidents in my home country, the USA, are really, I believe, in Christians at all. Not even George Washington, I believe. I don't think George Washington was a Christian either. He might have been a Christian. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think he was anyway. And I don't think Abraham Lincoln was a Christian either, but we'll see. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. We'll see. But he, they could have been Christians. I don't know. I don't think they were, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I always say this. I don't know if they are in heaven or hell, but... You can tell me in the comments below if they are, but I would just say I hope they are in heaven, but that's probably it. I hope they got saved, but and I hope they went to heaven, but I don't know that for sure, because I wasn't around that time, so I just, just don't know. Anyway, that's fine. Anyway, today I want to talk about about this about speaking with tongues, so I want to talk about this now. I want to talk to you about, I want to expose this, I want to expose something. The speaking in tongues thing, okay? And I will talk about that soon. But the Bible talk, okay, and that's my Twitch account. Sorry, that's my Twitch account. Uh, I only, I only watch videos on Twitch. I don't make, I don't make any videos on Twitch. I just watch other people's videos on Twitch. That's it. Anyway, let's get back to, um, the speaking in tongues thing. Okay, so I want to show you. The speaking in tongues is gibberish. Okay, it's not. A, they might tell you it's a heavenly language, and you just don't know it. No, I know it's not a language. Period. It's just gibberish. And look, I can make a lot. Of, I can make. I could be. And do you want? To, look, I can show you. I can show you what gibberish is. Like. No, that's or <laughs> sorry, but that's that's my that's my, that's all my gibberish is. I can't see that's gibberish, guys. <laughs> that's gibberish. Okay, I don't like that. That's stupid. That's not a language. It's it's just okay. Nobody knows what you're saying. I don't think and does God know what you're saying? No, I think when people are speaking in tongues, I think I think they're speaking to devils. That's what they're doing. And I believe most people are just faking it. 
But I believe we are not faking. They're doing it for real. I don't even don't know. I believe most. I believe the fake. I believe the false prophets are doing it for real. But, but it's not good. Oh, it's just not great. But what the but the ones are faking it. Well, they're just talking to devils and doing spirit and talking to spirits. I believe they're doing. And do you know any spirit? They're, they don't have those spirit. They're just talking to devils, and they're coming but came in the dead. So they're probably necromancing while they're speaking in tongues. So yes, the Dean says these Pentecostals are necromancers. If you ask me, I don't know, but that's what I believe in. The Bible says that necromancy is abomination to God. So. If you don't like, I know, I know. Anyway, let's get to, um, I want to show you some languages that are. I'll show you some language. I'll show you, I'll show you words that are languages. Let me show you. Here's some countries in different languages, okay? Here's in English. Here's country names in Spanish, okay? This is a like okay. Here's the here's some country names in Spanish. Uh, I'm not sure if I got all of them correctly, but I looked at my Google Translate, so you can correct me if I have to um, fix it. I, I I have to look at my Google Translate to do it. And um, some of them are regions, not just countries and stuff. Some of them are countries that don't even exist anymore. So, so you know right there. Here's here's. Here's some, and I think in French. Yeah, French. That's it, French. I have to look at Google Translate for that. <laughs> okay. Um, if you think this is funny, uh, sorry, a mistake. Here are the country names in Mandarin. Uh, yes, Mandarin. See, here's the pinyin. Here's the simplify characters and the traditional characters. You see. Those are the country names, well, in Mandarin. <laughs> okay. Here's them um, in, uh, in Arabic, I think. Yeah, Arabic. You can see the right to left characters right here. I don't think I have them all perfect because I think I got some of them. I might got some of them wrong. Because Google Translate is not accurate at all. I'm going to fix it later. I might have to fix it later because I might have got some of them wrong anyway. Even I've been trying to look up, I've been trying to look up a Google Translate. Yeah, Google Translate is not all that great at all, but at least I'm trying to do my best. And here's the country names in uh yeah, in Japanese. I think I don't know. Um yeah, in Japanese. That's it. You can see you can see here's the Horgana and Katakana characters, and then Kan and then, and then Kanji characters right here. So you can see, and then sheet six is 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 country names in Korean. So yeah, I don't have anything else in here. Okay, so it's just, it's just that. okay. So it's just all in Korean. Okay, so those are the country names. Um. All right, so those are my country names. What about those are false religions and other languages? So here is in here is in so false religions. I got in Spanish, French, uh, Mandarin. This is supposed to be an Arabic. I'm not finished with that yet. Uh, Japanese, and I know this is supposed to be in Korean. I'm not even finished with that yet, but okay, that's fine. I'll take a look at my unit oh, now. Um, sorry. Let's take a look at the United States. 
of America. Okay, oh, no, sorry, U.S. states. United America state names. Okay, so here's, here's the state names in Spanish. I probably got, here's them in, so here's them in English right here, and here's them in Spanish right here. Uh, I probably don't have them. Okay, okay, so those are in Spanish. Here's them in, I think, in French. That's it. Here's them in, oh yeah, in Mandarin. See, here's the, here's the pinion right here. Here's the simplified and the traditional characters. You see? All in Mandarin. Okay. Um. And I live in California, so I'll I can take these, but now it's another video. Here's them in Arabic. Um, okay, and um, here's here's them in oh yeah in in Japanese. You see, and California. That's that. I'm not gonna try how these pronounce yet. And here's the Korean. Okay, so all right. Let's see. One old business to a new window. I open. I want to open heaven and hell. Okay. So you see, here's heaven and hell in different languages. See, heaven. See, okay. See, English, Spanish, Greek, French, Mandarin, and Japanese. And then this. Do you know I fix this time? Well, what I fix is I put the. I just just put the opinion of of the of the of the of this of of the word of the word of the word heaven in Mandarin. See, and the word hell in Mandarin. So that's why it, it just it just fixed it so you can see the opinion because Mandarin's a total language. That's why. So that's why. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, because the tone is up top. That's why. You can see the tone on top of it. You, you might, and if I know, if you want to know what the tone is of these words right here. Okay, that's what I fixed. All right. Um. Here's hello, okay? But I want to see where's Jesus Christ. Okay. You use the name Jesus Christ in different languages. See, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, German, Dutch, Afrikaans, Swahili, Greek, Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean and Arabic. So. Someone asked me if I want to learn Portuguese. I don't want to learn Portuguese, okay? I just don't. I only want to learn only one Romance language, and that's Spanish. What are you doing? Um, oh, okay. Don't worry about that. That was my mom. Anyway. So... Yeah, I only want to learn only one romance language, and that's Spanish, Espanol. You see, and yes, and in, in Spanish, 
And and I know she's quite such as Jesu Cristo. It's got Cristiano and Christian and Christy Dad and is Christianity and then you got Iglesia for church. Iglesia for church. So And if you don't now I want to show these Pentecostals these languages I want to learn if they haven't heard about this, okay? I'm not going to show you all the names. I, I'm not going to show you how to pronounce these. I'll probably going to show you Mandarin and Japanese next, and I'll just, just go. So, because those are languages I want to learn after Spanish anyway, Mandarin and Japanese. So you got, so I'll show you how to say, so I'll show you, well, I'm probably going to get these words wrong. So you can correct me if you know if you know if you know how to say these correctly. But yeah, Yasu Jidu is how to say Jesus Christ in Mandarin. And you got Chido Chao Tu as Christian. Chido Chao is Christianity in Mandarin. And you got Choi Hoi as uh, as church in Mandarin. I'm probably saying it wrong, but that's probably how I can that's probably my but I'm trying to do my best to say them. And now in Japanese. Isu Kurisuto is uh, is just is, is well Jesus Christ in Japanese, and then Christian you got Kurisujin Kurisuto Koito, and then you got Kurisuto Coil, and you got Koil Kai for church. I probably pronounce these. I'm probably, I'm probably pronouncing these wrong, but you know that's just. But I'm trying to do my best to pronounce them anyway. It's because I don't know Mandarin very well, and I don't know Japanese very well either. But I'm trying to say the best I can, guys, okay? But these are words, okay? And these are and these are languages, okay? This begun tongue singer is not a language at all. Here's hello and goodbye. See, hi, hi guys, bye, bye guys. Or oh, hello guys, goodbye guys. Now here's in Spanish. Hola. See, audio, hola chicos, adios chicos, which is goodbye, bye guys. Here's Mandarin, see, ni hao, di chao hao, okay, you need to get started, de chao hao, which is, uh, which is, um, hi, which is hello everybody in Mandarin. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna say this one correctly. Uh, Okay, I'm not probably I probably don't know how to say this correctly at all. This is goodbye. I'm probably gonna say this one wrong. I'm probably gonna because I don't know how to pronounce this one very well. Zai Chan is what I can think of it. It's what I can think of it's pronounced. And Zai Chan Lei is uh, is the is the good one. I looked at I looked at these up Google Translate, but. I'm probably saying you're wrong anyway. And uh, and I learned and I learned this word from from McDonald's video game. So yeah, hello in Japanese is Kanichiwa. and you got Kinicho Mina, which is hello guys in Japanese. You got Sayonara, which is goodbye in Japanese. You got Sayonara Mina, which is uh, yeah goodbye guys. So. I looked at these up at Google Translate, guys, because I try to be, I try to look at Google Translate. You know, and here's why I'm probably saying the Mandarin words wrong because I probably well, I think it's because I haven't practiced the tones. That's probably why, and I don't know how to pronounce them correctly either. And I probably don't know how to pronounce them correctly either. That's probably my guess. But singing, but, but. Even though Japanese doesn't have tones either, even though Japanese doesn't have tones, I probably, I probably so. I would, even though I'm not used to the pronunciation of Japanese words either, so that's probably why I'm not pronouncing Japanese words correctly either. Same thing. So even though Mandarin has tones, I'm probably not used to the tones or the pronunciation of Mandarin. And for Japanese, I'm probably not used to the pronunciation. So that's probably why I don't know those languages very well. But I'm trying to do my best to say them. To say those words, so I might know how to. I might know these words, but I don't know how to say them very well because I don't. I 
not use the pronunciation of those words. So that's why. So, but these are languages, okay? The speaking in tongues thing, that's not a language at all. Okay, and you can you can borrow my PowerPoint to see what's playing with about learning foreign languages. See, here's the picture of the Garden Eden. But yeah, that's the pre-flood world right there. And there's the global flood. Here's the Tower of Babel. Yeah, God made languages to scare people from the Tower of Babel. Yes, there's language writing. There's different languages around the world. See, English, Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic, Punjabi, uh, Hindi, okay, Bengali, hmm, Russian, Japanese. I want to count out something. And no, Chinese is not a language, it's a language family. The official language of Chinese is called Mandarin, okay? And why? Well, because, um... The other language of Chinese you want to know, well, there's Tibetan, there's Cantonese, Shanghainese, and, uh, and Fujianese. Yeah, so, and I watched that, and I, I learned that from, I kind of learned that, I kind of learned the Chinese language family from YouTube, from the internet. So I learned it from the internet. So, you know, I live in the United States of America. I did learn one that, I did learn that, that, that the Chinese is a language family. It's not a it's not a language, it's a language family. I learned that from watching the internet on YouTube and stuff. So yeah, the official so yeah, it's called Mandarin. Okay. So if you hear people So you most people you so so most Chinese people you hear them speaking, it's probably most of them it's probably gonna you're, you're just you're mostly gonna hear Mandarin. Okay? But you might hear some other ones, but not that many. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's the different ways of saying hello. I know bonjour is French. <laughs> okay, I know hola, that's Spanish. And I know, and I know, and I know that ni hao is hello in Mandarin. But I'm trying to show you is, these are languages, okay? This speaking tongues thing is not a language at all. Yeah. These languages are hard, including Spanish, so. I know that like these people think are easy to learn, but they're not easy to learn at all. Mexican feminine and romance languages. Yeah, you can see right there. Some languages have rolling R's, as you can see right there. Six symbols of rolled R words in Spanish, as you can see right there. Even though I can't roll my R's, at least I'm showing you right here in the thing right here. Which languages are you thinking that are kind of hard to learn? You can put it right, you can think about them right here. So I just put medium. Yeah, that's what some people think. I don't think they, I don't know why some people think they, these ones are kind of hard to learn, but that's fine. And I'm going to have to debunk this. Because I don't know why, because some people will give up on Arabic and Japanese and Mandarin and Korean because they think these languages are very hard to learn, and I don't believe they're that hard at all. So I'm going to, have to, I'm going to, have to debunk this. Um, in, a, in a future video later, but in a future video, sorry, because I don't believe these languages are that hard to learn at all. I don't think so. And I already talked about tonal languages, if you want to know that part anyway. A 
Oh, that was the five Mandarin tones. You can you can um you can take a look right there. See, you can see the word ma it can be mother, fibber or horse, okay, or curse, or question mark. Okay, and you know, it just depends how it just depends what tone you're saying it. That's all. Anyway, uh. Yeah. And yeah, these five Mandarin tones are very easy to learn, and they just take a little practice. That's all. I believe they're very easy to learn. They just take a little practice. That's all. They just take practice of getting used to. That's all. If you're not used to them. Yep. You see? There's more of them right here. You see, they take some practice to get used to, and that's it. And that that's just a, two ways to use the third Mandarin tone, okay, that's fine. And those are, and that's Cantonese, if you, um, those different I've seen, C, so you can see could be poetry, history, try, time, market, or B, uh, but, yeah. Oh, that's Vietnamese. Okay, that's okay. That's Viet. Okay, that's, that's Vietnamese tones. Okay, see. Okay, see. So can be mug. Can be ghost. Never last. Okay, tomb, cold mother or right seedings. Okay, that's fine. And those are the five uh, Thai tones. You can see the word na. Could be a rice patty or a Thai nickname or face or aunt, uncle, younger than or thick. So those are that's just Thai. And um, those are the which languages have tones. See, just choose of, to of tonal languages. And those are the and that's the sound of heaven and stuff. But I try to show you these these are languages. Okay, there. But guys wanna show you something. I came a little off, but But those are languages, okay? This speaking in tongues thing is not a language at all. Okay, and it has to go away. Oh. And they haven't exposed it yet, but I will try to show you what those are languages are. So, okay, guys. Well, I have to go to the bathroom right now, maybe. So, guys, I'll be right back. Okay. I'll just be right back. I just got to use the bathroom, guys. Okay.
Okay, I'll talk to him later. I'm sorry, guys. I got to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was his own. I'll talk to that guy later. Right now, I'm right, I'm right now making this video against this speaking in tongues thing. So, um... So, what is this speaking in tongues thing? Is it wrong? Okay, yes, it is wrong. But... It's the it's a language I have to uh, it's something I have to expose. It's not a language at all. It's it's gibberish, okay. Um, Okay, so I have to do this. Okay, so this one is speaking in tongues exposed. Okay, so it's all it filled. Okay, so I want to show you the King James Bible where the where tongues means languages. The King James Bible uses the word with. Okay, and the versions are changing to the word in. Let me show it to you. Okay, the word tongues means language. Okay, and I mean, and I'm talking about foreign languages. Okay, so you're seeing right there anyway. You see? See, here's the first question. Oh, I think my God, I speak with tongues more than all. I think there's our... Right, one is this is? Okay, I found our seven. Okay. Well, I'm not going to show all those, but you can see is... But tongues means language, okay, in the Bible, okay, in the Bible, okay, it has nothing to do with, with an unknown language you can see right here. So, and then I met foreign languages. I think the tongues in the book of Acts, okay, I think the people in the book of Acts, I think we're speaking, um, I think the languages they never learned. I don't know. I don't know what languages they spoke. It could be, I learned they're from Galilee, so there might be, there might have been, I think there might have been speaking Greek, Arabic, and maybe Hebrew in the time. But I believe there's going to be something happening during the tribulation. Because I believe during the tribulation, I believe it's going to be um, Bible believing pastors um, speaking foreign languages they never studied. I think during the, I believe it's going to happen during the tribulation. But I don't know that for sure, this is my guess. But since English and Spanish and Portuguese and French and, and Hindi and Mandarin are the are the most spoken languages of the world, I believe uh, I believe the Babylonian pastors I might might be speaking those languages, but they might be speaking some other ones. I don't know. But mm, you can tell me in comments below if, if you think that's true, but but I think that's what happened during the tribulation. I don't know that for sure, though, because I don't want to, um, I don't know for sure, because I don't know when the tribulation is going to come. Okay, I just, just don't know. I just don't. Okay? So. Because I don't know when the tribulation is going to come. Okay? But here is some, um, answers. So here's some so here's my uh, so here's I'll show you why I believe this speaking in tongues is wrong and why I believe it's not a language at all. Okay, and it needs to go away. Okay. Okay, and I believe this is this is not a language. Okay, this is this is just more like necromancing to me. Okay, if you ask me, I believe this is more like necromancing. But that's read it. So all they all fit with Holy Ghost and again speak other tongues and spirit utterance. And now there's a noise, multitude and confounded, that every man heard to speak its, its own language. Extra to four, extra to four, and also six. See, this is, see, it is talking about people, it's talking about 
the people speaking is talking about I think by believing uh pastors maybe they're speaking of other foreign languages. Okay? Languages they never studied. Okay. That's that's, that's happened. I think I think in the beginning of I, I think this has happened in, in the in the book of Acts. So this is in the first century. And it can happen again during the tribulation. The Christian movement is the devil. And this is identified by heresies. Speaking in tongues, saying of Jumbo 2, this is teaching of Sins 3. But the heresy of Crusades, I'd be the man of airplane, and you could like, I'll boldly increase it's of the speaking in tongues heresy. Why don't we speak in tongues? Although this is not nature, but it's way fully take up. This also writes, it's so called pastor or a Korean woman. Sorry. Vision of God. He says, women preach are sinful. The devil is a taught basically across America. Women no church authority. Well, of course, the speak in tongues thing. No atheist wants to hear gibberish. Uh, I don't think Koreans or Japanese or Chinese people want to hear this either. No Asians want to hear this either. Look, I'm American, and I don't want to hear this gibberish speak in tongues thing. Because it's wrong. And I think most people are faking it. But what the ones are not faking it? Well, I don't know. But I mean, the ones that are faking it are probably just false prophets. Oh, I think the ones that are not faking it and doing it for real are just false prophets. My opinion, anyway. But let's keep reading. The scripture, and I believe they're necromancing. The good evidence of the moment of jumble nonsense. Because man calls you can tongues say, but it's a Pentecost. He has spoken Greek in, in Greek. No other language. Tongues. This says that people. Ancients heard of a language, but actually the day was hearing in tongues. People, Peter never say, never spoke any other language other than Greek, nor he spoke. And, 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 and it is impossible to dumb jibber jabber of Pentecostals today as a miracle of tongues in the Bible. Exodus 10, verse 11. 60 dimension divinations was present of, of Pentecost. Okay, listeners of states that have heard of the Pentecostal the language he was born. It was compared to Christ Meg. Speaking in tongues, have no sense to anyone. Listen to your, listen for yourself and click the download. You can you can download yourself. I'm not gonna. Okay. Furthermore, a, a false has never taught Mary go speaking in tongues. Nation by God. Preachers the day of the big access to God's power. Well, they do not, and they do not. Just as Catholic priests are declaiming God's power forgives sin, Pentecostal ministers that proclaim power. People of work miracles and simple pride, a perversion of teachings of God's word. Now we get to this necromancer, Benny Hinn. Yeah, and I believe Benny Hinn is, is, I believe he's a false prophet, that's what I believe, but and I, I, I think he is a false prophet, that's what I believe. I believe he's going, I believe he's going to hell, but I don't know that for sure. I think he is, though. Also, Every time the proposition is supposed to speaking with new tongues, the gospel message was being preached and the church asked, Christmas, I don't even know that are trying to interrupt. Apostles always say speak again. This is a turn of their own language. Consider this. Why do Pentecostals only speak Christmas tongues when Christmas meetings and in Christmas churches? As speaking in tongues is a sign of being saved, spiritual as Pentecostals teach. Why they never speak in tongues in public? And it's Pentecostals speak in tongues to see bus, a bowl game, a restaurant. Hmm. No, you only speak in demonic tongues and demonic surface. Okay, so yeah, that's see, kind of like Nick, kind of like Nick romancing, if you ask me. This here, friend, any spirit is not the Holy Spirit familiar uh, from your spirit demonic. Are you seeing of speaking of tongues involves familiar spirit that's not of God? See, lost sinners heard in tongues. If I heard this speaking in tongues, no one acts actually spoke in tongues in the Bible. Why don't they speak their own language? You see, this is sort of the message of native language, Acts 3, verse 11. Now, now we hear their men in their own tongue, as we are born, Parthians, okay, Parthians, and many of Limites, uh, Parthians of Judea, and Parthians of Parthians of, okay, Asia, okay, Phalea in Egypt, in the parts of Libya, Lazarene, 
strangers of Rome, Jews, and okay, pull the lights. Creed, okay, Creed, okay, Creeds and um, Arabians, which they speak in tongues, all over works of God and apostles, and the saints, um, as I've known, a jipper japper, but rather in their own native language. Uh, this comes from the going of miracle tongues, and maybe as if hearing the words and not the speaking. The see the I speak in tongues is somewhat uh, a misnomer, but the Bible mentions that speaking in tongues. Bible when the Bible is just speaking in tongues, we're learning hearing in tongues. But the gentle is to speak in tongues, is speaking with tongues, is ten, is ten, is the same word, the Greek word as in the different sport. The meaning of the tongue is directly a word of the singing of the other nations. It's known as early language. This is, this is this Greek word of the Apostle Paul in different languages, as many people have is, is, is learned several different languages. See, it's something that's true to the instrument. Some people have given writers, nearly anyone can write something, but few people have such way others to read their works. The gift of spirits are different than the miracles of God. The speaking, okay, the gift of tongues is all, the gift of tongues still exists today, but the positive, okay, positive miracles of tongues have ceased that doing the New Testament, which is a evidence of his ability or self testimony of this. God does, God does heal today. But he works in prayers and, uh, of the saints and requires of the soul as our Christian brethren. James 5, verse 15 to 16. Now we're getting the TV preachers. See? TV preachers exposed. See the distinction uh, between uh, the tongues, I started to, tongues and languages, which Paul spoke in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 8. It's important uh, that no one in the Bible has mentioned uh, America, America speaking in tongues. So he's mentioned that God is contrast. Uh, speaking in tongues, they would just uh, no one. Okay, we serve the Lord, trying to give you a safe gift. There's no sign of the speaking in tongues today. Those can give. Okay, those are give of languages. Some people have musicians and other some we have warriors and some are gifted interpreters. However, there's no need for signing the gifts today because have today and can be the word of God is evidence of Paul's Paul's ability. The Lord of Lord and friend. First Timothy chapter five verse twenty. Paul said, "This is a business of multim sick." Okay, this is a this is getting into verse verse twenty. There's a gift of healing promises of Jesus in Mark sixteen verse eighteen had come and gone. Uh we're a gift of healing today. The hospitals would be empty and they were filled with capacity. Revelation chapter seven verse nine. From this behold, a little great multitude with no man could number of all nations. Of kids and numbers and tongues. Number of from Revelation chapter seven verse nine. The word tongues referring to savage is earth is earthly languages. The word tongues is where glossa. And it's even Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 20 chapter 14, as there's no debate among his Bible students of the word language, of the tongues. Simply is known as early language, as that confirms Acts chapter 2, verse 26. And every man heard them speak in his own language. See? On the right there. Although there's a debate other and other miracle available today, let's go here today. Uh, Trovius, I've been myself, as I've been flesh, could be enough evidence of miracle of tongues by the, of the Old Testament. See? Okay, time period. Notice that first Corinthians chapter 14 verse 18, Paul's Paul complaining that they God of more um, than all. Again, in sort of consent, read it after 2 verse 6. A man heard, a man heard them speak in his own language. Okay, a miracle is in Acts chapter 2 allowed multitudes of 16 different nations hear the gospel in their own native language. Okay. But Peter was only preaching in Greek in verse 14. So Peter was able to speak with people. So Paul was able to speak in various languages which God has given them to learn. And there's nonsense. So the nonsensical babbling, all that goes across the schismatic Pentecostal symbols of God, of God churches today, is demonic. All the miracle, of, uh, there are miracles of tongues and Bible schism, a purpose of soul winning. Whereas they give the tongues today, we just be edifying building of the church or through a Bible study. Okay. However, the Bible teaches of the of the gift of tongues is confusing. That's fourteen verse thirty-three. The bone jumble of goals, charismatic churches are a foolishness. The Apostle Paul said, I learned to speak of five words to can understand. Then ten thousand current of Pepsi uh fourteen to nineteen as chromatic up you see of really crazy. I'm not being unkind, but Paul is first Christian and so I'll be not saying mad. But this is groovy of we're into the uh, Vismanic uh, nonetheless and crazy. I'll talk about the comments below after I finish with this, okay? The science of the of Steve's of the New Testament period. You see, furthermore, and uh, it's the invention of tongues in the Bible, the reader of tongues, the ones mentioned in Mark, it begins the book of Acts, and the science of 1 Corinthians, 
And the, okay, first Corinthians, which was written to the corner of believers. First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 1. Paul never mentioned tongues again in the New Testament. They only speak in volume of charismatics and concerning the multiple half of the New Testament. Okay, then the practice of speaking in tongues is not found in the Word of God. It's really just today whether it gets a valid, but it uh, could be wrong. Understanding what speaking in tongues begin with. They go speak in tongues is a sign and gift for the, around the apostles. The Word of God until the AD 96 and the gifts, the seeds of completion of the Bible. There's no speaking in tongues. There's there's no speaking in tongues today, was there was an extra or two. And he never jibber jabber type of speaking. It was good man's Pentecostals practiced in as Pentecostal practice today. That's just as foolish as all just foolishness of the of of the devil. We don't know because magic would produce a many rushing wind. They could have been the tongues of life, or the three thousand people acts or two. Why do they um, intimidate the speaking in tongues? It's it's a uh, it's because any idiot, they can they can ramble a bunch of nonsensical words and claim this of God. The, the tongues is somebody of churches or a Roberts, Christian uh, International Ministries, Bill Hallman, Benny Hinn, okay, Grandpa Dollar, Kenneth Copeland, Pentecostals, Cosmetics. The other that's been practiced today is Satanic. Okay. Okay, the speaking in tongues is of the devil. You see? Okay, so Chris and to speak in tongues means practice it is being spiritual proof of being saved. But being full and being fully spirit, however, this is teaching is not the taught of the word of God. Over the New Testament is this uh, verse of first, second, third John, and clear it's of verse five to thirteen. And these okay, this I have written to you is I believe on the name of the Son of God that you may know they have eternal life. And he may believe on the name of the Son of God. If speaking in tongues, as is evident salvation, as Pentecostals claim it is, then why didn't John mention the tongues in his epistles? I mean, John has stated he wrote the epistles on 1 John that we may know that we are saved. He never mentions tongues. The biblical one salvation has changed life. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. John spoke in love. He's speaking his commandments, and he keeps his command, God's commandments, but he never mentions love. He never mentions tongues. He never mentions baptism meters. Yet so many false religions have met a baptism, speaking in tongues, etc. This man, Jibber Jabber, tongues of the devil. The biblical sign tongues after Acts chapter 2 and in Acts 10 and sees that in the New Testament. The ancient man gave today. It's the ability of work, multiple languages, as purpose of the winning souls to Christ. Okay. Any carrying of the mumble jumble of the hocus pocus, this is the jubi jabber is not the Holy Spirit, a familiar spirit of a familiar spirit is any spirit, not the Holy Spirit. These are demonic influences. Uh, no believers should partake of the charismatic movements of speaking in tongues. In other words, faith movement because because the art of the devil, Jesus Christ never has spoken. Jesus Christ, okay, Jesus never spoke in tongues, but he did. His disciples would be the, would be the example as as to follow. But Jesus did witness the gospel to others. And if speaking in charismatic tongues is was so important, why the Bible doesn't, doesn't why doesn't the Bible mention why does those doesn't place any emphasis upon it? As do as the Pentecostals do. Because Pentecostalism is is false, that's why. Yeah, and they believe, and they don't believe the Trinity. They believe in modernism or oneness. Maybe that's what they believe anyway. I believe in the Trinity. Okay, I know I teach the Trinity. Okay, the Trinity, Jesus, one God, three persons, and I believe in the Trinity. Okay, and I'm King James only. Yeah, let's keep reading. Well, the purpose of the gifts of the Holy Spirit uh, to win lost souls to Christ and display the New Testament. Chris Banks, uh, House of God, is with Chris Banks, drums, like asserting guitars. Falling on the floor, rolling on the floor, laughing, breaking, acting crazy. Long as you see out of the word of God, that's okay. That's an orb up that's 900 foot Jesus, which I claim I've seen. But how about Benny Hinn's Holy Spirit machine gun? These are imposters, wolves, and they come as dressed in sheep's, in sheep's clothing. Well, of course, because they're false prophets, that's why. So here's the conclusion. 
Now, before I read the conclusion, I know some people are going to be in the comments below. Have I these. See, I believe these speaking in tongues are just demonic. But what he's. Well, I know he's been a call, so he's going to say this. Oh, sorry, that's my Twitch account again. But what I'm trying to make this video is oh, I think what they're asking the question is Well, remember I think these Pentecostals are trying to say is is this. If I speak in tongue is demonic and they I need to know what it's been in Japanese, but they said but remember I said I want to learn Mandarin. So I, I guess they're asking me the question, why well, want to learn a language from a communist country is what they're asking me, because I also want to learn Mandarin too. Well, first of all, first of all, I already know that China is a communist country, but guess what? I don't care about communism, okay? I just care about the Bible, okay? And I want to get people saved in my home country, the United States of America, okay? I want to get people in my home country. Okay, in the United States of America. Okay. And I'll talk about China in another video. Okay. Anyway. But yeah, Mandarin's a is a good language. Mandarin's a very amazing language to learn, and so is Japanese. But because look, there's a lot of languages you can learn. Okay, and and stuff like that, but the speaking in tongues thing is so demonic. And but this, but the speaking in tongues thing, that's not a language at all. Okay, that's just that's just gibberish, and it's so demonic. Anyway, that's and then I believe it's necromancing too. So here's the conclusion: speak Bible, speak biblical tongues, simply ability multiple tongues, and always love musical instruments. Okay, so me. Some people are, we play radio about it and never like this means we just have any talking on the phone, but hear more more comfortable writing. I believe that God's a purpose of endeavor, but some people have quick at their feet. Sorry. And some are good talkers, but I have the other hand are wrong, but put my foot in my mouth. I got bumped and asked myself, when I say that of someone. Therefore I just say to stay quiet. I enjoy writing because I read my article. And the science is theory of X I want to say. I've often 68 hours, someone went article for the website. Something is even longer. It's simply right because I have to go and influence someone. I want to honor God and truth of God's word. I'm accountable for the God of what I teach people. Therefore, I have great responsibility for every article. I publish others to read. I want to use my talents and resources for God. Christmas and tongues are just dangerous because it falls from your spirits and draws up and save people in the church for the wrong reasons. It's a poem called so called Christian rock. People come to be rock when it's a nod to Jesus Christ. Most people go to many churches and excitement of entertainment, not because of the final word of God, but need people go to many. Okay, there's any now Christianity. I'm not looking at Apostle Times. I have the region of the Old God. I know the dawn to the truth as the union of content for the faith. Even Satan's work of the darkness. And your tongue thing is evil. And nowhere taught and nowhere taught in the word of God. Don't be misled by the false prophets and Pentecostalism. Speaking in charismatic tongues to the devil. How do they remember this online? Okay, so. So, guys. So, that's why. Okay? Speaking in tongues is wrong, and we need to stay away from it. Okay? And I believe most Pentecostals are just faking it. I think the ones that are doing it for real are just false prophets. So. So I believe this is wrong, okay? And I'll show you how to get saved. Okay, and if you, now guys, if you want to learn how to get saved, it's right here. Okay? You only need to get saved is to believe on Jesus Christ. You see, the one in false religion is a damn souls to hell. You go to heaven and believe all Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation is by 
based on reason you guys alone. And once you just say by each one is the truth, okay? It means you can't lose your salvation. Each one is salvation is easy, okay? You just believe on Jesus Christ for salvation. So yes, we need to stay away from the speaking in tongues thing, okay, and learn real languages. Okay? These languages are real languages, okay? The speaking in tongues thing, that's not a real language at all. And it needs to go away. Okay? And I don't, and I think I won't until God's wrath, but that's what I believe anyway. Anyway, um Yeah, okay. You have to go right now. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye. Okay, sorry, I have to show you. Okay, sorry, but I have to show you what you're doing next video. Before I go. So let me open the Okay, sorry, before I go, um, let me show you your next video. I forgot about that anyway. Okay, so I can tell the next video is. Wrong one. There it is. Okay, what I'm talking about the next video is, is what does the Bible say about the Trinity? Okay, I'll talk about the Trinity next video. Okay, because I believe the Trinity. Okay, and I'll tell you why I believe in the Trinity um, next video. Okay, okay. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna go right now, but thank you for watching this video. Be interested. Bye.